I was diagnosed with MGUS mm -hmm. first, so it was highly suspicious that what I had was going to lead to multiple myeloma. Dr. David Siegel said, as long as you're stable for six months, you can try and have a baby. He's ne he never had a patient who want wanted to get pregnant. The hardest part was going to the office and sitting in the waiting room, being five months pregnant with patients who were very sick and had a cancer that I was likely going to get. You'd think after nine years of knowing that I was going to get myeloma, I would be prepared for the day that they would call and say, we need to start treatment. And um, it was May 6th, and I was volunteering at a PTO function. And I have had a close relationship with my nurse practitioner at the time at the cancer center. And she called and she said, there's a tumor on your pelvis, we need to start treatment. You have multiple myeloma. I said, I'm not starting treatment until the summer's over. We have a lot of plans. We have a lot of vacations and we're doing them. Three months later, I agreed, okay, let's start treatment. And the plan was to do a stem cell transplant in January. So I went through the uh, chemotherapy prior to that to decrease the burden of the cancer in preparation for the stem cell transplant. Family, of course, motivated me that I was going to do this and I was going to uh, do it with grace and, and strength. I also did it with um, the guidance and support of my doctor, Dr. David Siegel, and his staff, uh, who were always very positive. And I did it with the hope and guidance and passion from the MMRF. They gave me great hope that I was going to be able to do this. The word believe, the word carpe diem, is very strong for me. Seizing the day, seizing the moment, trying to make every day count in some way. Caregivers are so important. The support we receive from our caregivers directly and from support groups and people surrounding us is extremely important. Again, I am very thankful to my doctors, David Siegel and the John Thurr Cancer Center for being there for me. And I'm very thankful to the MMRF for continuing to give me hope for a longer life and hope for someday a cure.